Hello, hello, cool toy friends. Today we have on the dot the super spotted brain teaser, Dr. Toy winner, 10 best games. Everyone can play from ages 10 and plus from one to four players. The name of the company that sell these games is Brain Rights for Curious Minds. Let's see what's in the back. See spots like never before in this amazing brain teaser. Try to arrange four transparent squares so they perfectly line up to match the dots shown on the pattern card. Flip, rotate, and overlap the squares to make a spot on copy. The challenge is to figure out how they all fit together. Play by yourself or race against others in a dot-to-dot -dot dash. Over 60 different puzzles for hours of brain-boosting fun. Contents 64 pattern cards, 16 transparent tiles, rules of play, instrucciones en español, playing time about 15 minutes. And the question for this video is, do you like brain teaser games? And if you do, why? And if you don't, why? And this is the game out of the pack. Let's open the little box. Okay. And here are the instructions. And the instructions are in Spanish and in English. Rules of play, one to four players, ages 10 and up. Okay, and the content we already said. And arrange four transparent squares so that they all overlap to perfectly duplicate the pattern of dots shown on a selected pattern card. You can either play solitaire or against others. In either case, the same basic rules apply. And the rules are very easy and simple. You must use all four transparent squares to duplicate the pattern. You may rotate and flip the squares in any direction. And all four squares must end up overlapping to form a single square. And this is an example right here. Overlap all four squares to form a single square. See, this is correct. This is not correct. Okay, here it shows you how to play solitaire and to play between two and four players. And I continue here, a word from brain right, and a strategy tip right there. Try to figure out how to hide the dots you don't need. The game is by Dominique Bottin and it was licensed from Interlude Cocktail Games to Brain Ride for Curious Minds. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I need to reveal the name of the winner for the giveaway on the video name Season 4 Shopkins Hack 5 Pack Blind Bags. And the name of the winner is right here. So let's see. Where is it? Where is the name? Wait, 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 wait. There is an I at the end of the name. Who could it be? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Noodle Honey. Congratulations, Noodle Honey. You have till March 11th, 2016 to claim your prize. Contact me via email, Facebook, or YouTube private message with your full name and mailing address. If you are younger than 18 years of age, you will need permission from your parents to receive the gift. I hope that all the Shopkins find a loving home with you and get loads of playtime and fun. Here are your prizes, Nurul. I hope you like them. Now, the reason why I have this cover is because I like to play a game with you. So you could win a surprise gift if you tell me the names of seven Shopkins that are inside of here or inside of this other pack, okay? Congratulations again, Nurul. This ones here are the ones that we will give to the players. Let's say there are four people playing. There are four colors. So yellow has four cards, okay? So you give the, 
these four cards to one player and then but there is no other player than me so green four cards we're gonna put it on the side purple four cards we'll put it on the side as well and I'll keep my favorite color of those four red my lucky color <laughs> I'll put them right here. Don't go anywhere. In these cards, I'm gonna shuffle them, okay? I'm not very good at shuffling. <laughs> but I'm good enough, I can do it. Not like professional, that would be nice. And you're seeing them, them. Ah, okay. Oh my God. Now we're gonna cut. I'm gonna cut again, I'm gonna cut again. I'm gonna cut again. Okay, so now we are sure that I have no idea what's coming, okay? And we are going to put the cards here. And what you do is that you take one of these cards and flip it. Uh, okay, that's not that bad. So I need to do exactly this pattern with my four cards okay let's see i'm going to put this on the side so i have some more space and this here and i'll work in this area right and what i do is this i'll take one card and i am i took this red And I put it exactly where this red is. See? Like that. I could have done it in a way that the red was here. But that way was not going to work because... See? You have the red on top of the red, but then you have the purple on top of a green. And a green on top of a purple. So I don't want that. I want it exactly the way it is. Red on top of red, green on top of green. In this specific case, you know, all of the colors go on top of the same color. So I take this and I put it right here because I feel comfortable that this is the way one card is going to go. Then I have to, sorry, okay, then I take these other three cards and I take any one another one let's put it here because it's difficult to get it from here um, and I am going to see where this one goes and I think nope let's see huh I think this may go here let's see Let's see. Ah, okay. You see what I have now? I'm still missing a few. I think I'm doing something wrong though. Because the green and the purple are missing two each. Hmm. Let's see. help me okay see so I have all four cards overlapping here but they are not exactly the same I'm still missing a yellow a green one of each actually I'm missing so I think one of my cards is in the wrong spot and I will just need to change that and I suspect 
which one do I suspect that it could be? I think it could be this one. So you see what we have here? And this one, if I turn it you know, like this, yay, I got it, right? And there we go. So I got it. So let's see how fast I can do the next one. Okay. I'm going to take this one and put it here. And let's open the next. Okay. Oh, this one is simpler. And let's see. I think that for this one, all I have to do is take... See, I took two and I already got this pattern, right? But then I have to neutralize this two. So how do I do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. They're neutralized there because one color is right on top of the other one. So what I need to find now is how to do the same with this one right under this one. And like that, I guess. Yes. Yay! There we go. Got it. See? Uh, the other way. <laughs> There you go. Okay. See? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? It's the other way. Wait. Green. What? Green goes here. Yellow goes on top. So I have it flipped. I need to flip them. Oh no! So put it here. On the other one. Like this. Yes, and now this two go like that. Yes, that's the way it goes. Okay, guys, sorry. That's the way it goes. See, we have yellow, purple red and green isn't that awesome yay so this is one of my favorite games guys i love mind games <laughs> i want to show you the trick you see how we have four cards well these four cards are very much alike and i'll show you why let's put this card just like that look at the position of the dots Okay, let's take another card. Uh, okay, this card is just like this one, and I'll show you. Look, the dots go in the same place, and I'll show you the next one. It is the same as well. I am not talking about the color of the dots, but the position of the dots. They are all in the same position. And this one goes doo -doo -doo, like this. See? And there we go. All four cards overlap. So that's a good thing to know. Some of the things that I like about this game are that it helps you develop your logic skills big time it is very entertaining and addictive in a very very good way um, if you wanted to be competitive it could be very competitive if you're in a group um, that could be awesome I love competition and and it's very competitive um, and if you wanted to play at your own pace you can play by yourself and it's awesome too it challenges your brain by giving it a workout. And just as we all know, 
that it is healthy to exercise our body, it is also healthy to exercise our brain. Yay! And this one, you're not going to believe it, but it unites families. Yes, because it creates fun and beautiful memories when you gather your family to play on the dot. Let's say you have a family of four. Great, you have one box and four people can play together. And it's awesome, it's a great memory. And if you have a family of six, all you have to do is get another box and you will have four more sets of cards for four more people. So that will be eight, okay? So one box, four people, two boxes, eight people three boxes, 12 people. So the possibilities are endless and it's up to you. If you like this game, make sure to participate in the giveaway for this video. I am gonna be giving away one on the dot to a lucky subscriber. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching Cool Toys. Bye bye.